I do believe we are not alone. I hope these men won't prevent us from passing. Me? No. But you, yes, Watson. Your journey ends here tonight. Pardon? You are sometimes a little hot-headed. Uh, moreover, Mr. Solomonovich has a few things to tell you. I won't be long. You can come in, Mr. Holmes. He's waiting for you inside. Everything was organized according to your instructions. I don't know how to thank you. Later, later. Dr. Watson is awaiting an explanation from you. Hello, Watson. Holmes, have you the slightest idea what you are doing? I think so, Watson. Leaving this bloodthirsty pervert at liberty and hiding his existence from the London police? What folly! Certainly, the police will never find their man, but with so many men deployed, this affair will indirectly have a benevolent effect on the crime in the vicinity. But Holmes, wait! Justice hasn't been served, and we are accomplices to the fact. Justice? But I don't serve justice, Watson. I serve truth. And, incidentally, I serve my country, and I don't think that I have ever served it better than today. Imagine if, after months of terror and a murder as abominable as that of Miller's court, we deliver to the English people a man of the Jewish faith, a journeyman, and head of family as the guilty party. A man who forced members of his own people to eat human flesh. All of this contained tension would have exploded in a myriad of anti-Semitic acts which would have thrown Whitechapel into a rage of fire and blood. And this man's family, who are completely innocent and have suffered more than their lot, would have been the first in the line of sight. Should we condemn an entire people to shame and promise them a thousand wounds because one of their members committed an unmentionable crime? Neither I nor you have the right to do so. Jacob Levy, Jack the Ripper, is now in the hands of his own people. 
I have complete faith in Mr. Solomovich and the members of his community who, I remind you, courageously helped us. They took great risks and acted with the most salutary discretion. And, oh yes, it is understood that you cannot chronicle this investigation. It would be best to invent a story that takes us far from London during the sombre period in pursuit of, let's see, something challenging. A ghostly dog that glows in the night. Don't be ridiculous, Holmes. But what will happen now? The police will endure a serious setback and a real loss of credibility. And... and this... this man? Well, a few months after the murders have ceased, the police commission, finding themselves at an impasse, will come up with a story to tell, and everyone will vow that they know the secret identity of the killer without having the right to reveal it. As for Jacob Levy, Jack the Ripper, he will be imprisoned by his own people. He will pace like a lion in its cage until the end of his days, haunted by his crimes and his insatiable vengeance. Until finally the disease which drove him to kill those poor women will finish its work and make him its final victim. <laughs>